Hello, hello. Uh, hope you guys are doing well today. I'm uh, going to show you a little bit of my expectation for your next steps. Uh, you're going to have several days to work on this. Um, you've had several days to work on your uh, settings and your background. Uh, so now we're going to move on today. We're going to start doing some animation, some real animation. So uh, let's get right over to that. So you can see I've kind of worked up my tree here. Uh, I will point out, so if you look over here at my palette, you can see I've got uh, you know four different colors of green. Uh, I use some different colors of green. Again, this is kind of that attention to detail that I'm asking you guys to think about and try to include in your work, uh, just to kind of make your, your piece uh, look that much more uh, interesting. You've had some time, so please make sure you're using that time to do those sorts of things. Uh, I'm going to add a layer, so I'm going to come over here to my layers. Right now I've got, you can see I've got two layers currently. I'll just scroll through those. I've got layer one, layer two. So I'm going to click on layer one. That's my my uh, my total background, kind of the far off background. The, the kind of hill or that mountain there and the cloud with the blue sky. My layer two is my tree. And now I'm going to create a third layer, and this is where I'm going to do my animation. Uh, so I'm going to add that layer. Uh, the nice thing about the Pisco program is they allow you to see the layers that you're working on. So I'm going to have, um, I'm going to create a little caterpillar that's going to kind of enter this picture. And what I'm going to start working on today is uh, this guy's going to climb up this tree and eventually is going to eat one of these leaves that I've created there. Um, now, again, thinking about my time and wanting to make sure that I'm not uh, overextending myself, overworking myself. Uh, I'm going to make this caterpillar, you know, kind of larger than he actually would be. Um, probably the color is going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to, um, yeah, that's my plan. And uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this frame a few times. So you can see there, I've just clicked it and I've duplicated the frame. I might need to let's see if I go to, no, it's there. I'm on my second frame. I'm gonna start working on frame one, but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of have this frame a couple of times just kind of laid out. Uh, and keep in mind that each frame should have a new image of the caterpillar uh, that's gonna kind of enter the screen there. So I'm gonna to go to my palette. Uh, I'm gonna make my caterpillar kind of a purplish color, I think. Again, I'm not worrying about realism or anything like that. What I'm what I'm thinking about is I want this guy to uh, you know clearly come on to my frame. So and I'm going to start here at the bottom, and I'm just going to use the pen tool to kind of draw just a little bit of a shape there. Uh, so you can see now I've got something coming in. Something's entering the frame. Um, and I see that I've done that on the wrong frame. I've done it on frame five. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna do Command Z and make sure that I'm on my first frame. That's where I wanna start. Um, so I'm gonna draw that little guy again. Just kind of coming into the picture. Uh, and then I can jump down um, to my second frame and you can see, so if I look over here, um, over in this little window here, you can see that it's blinking. And that's showing me kind of where that guy was and how he's going to just kind of continue to come into the, uh, the picture. So I'm going to uh, draw again over what I have there already. And I'm just going to have him come a little bit further onto my page. Uh, just kind of looking and remember so I can come back later and I can do some more editing to uh, you know make this a little bit clearer um, but I'm gonna continue to work with what I've got there and I'm looking again up here um, just to kind of see uh, what my animation looks like and now I'm gonna go ahead and click on to the third frame and I'm gonna bring this caterpillar in just a little bit further and I'm gonna change it a little bit this time so I'm going to have the head kind of kind of move up and the rest of the body's coming on. 
I am going to want to, I'm just thinking about, you know, my art here. I'm going to come back probably on each of these. I'm going to do some shading and I'll probably, I'm going to give this guy a little eye here. So I'm going to, let's make his eye, I'm going to make it almost white. So I'm going to use, I've already got a light color that I use for my clouds. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to add that little dot there. So now this guy's got an eye. I'm going to go down to my fourth frame and I'm just going to, using the image that's there, I'm going to make sure I change back to the color that I want, that purple. Uh, and now I'm just going to kind of extend. So he's going to continue to come out. And the, his body's going to be kind of longer. So I'm going to have him extend back. His head's going to continue to climb up um, that little block of tree there and I'm going to use that lighter color to create the eye again and I'm going to just do a little bit of an adjustment down here again keep in mind like you can come back and edit all of this at any time so he's getting further onto the tree I'm going to have him continue up uh, before I go to this frame 5 I can see that I'm going to want more frames to make this uh, image kind of continue to work. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate a couple more frames here just so that I have more space to work as I continue this animation process. I'm going to click on frame 5 now. <coughs> continue to use what's there, making sure that I'm on the correct color. I'm going to have that head come back onto the tree. So I'm basically going to kind of create um, this guy's going to kind of inch his body along up the tree is kind of how I envision it. Uh, so you'll just want to kind of think about that. Keep in mind, like I said, I'm keeping this simple right now um, just because I'm just kind of starting. Um, the other thing I, I'm, I've just noticed that I'm doing is I'm spending all this time filling this in. I could use the paint bucket tool and very easily uh, fill in kind of a large section there. Um, all right, so we've got kind of the caterpillar coming in. I'm going to give him that little eye uh, just to continue to kind of give it some, make it look a little more than a, just kind of a pink blob. Um, and then I'm going to go one more frame. And, um, yeah, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit, make sure I go back to my purple. And I'm going to have the, the bottom part of this guy come forward just a little bit. So he's going to start kind of inching up the tree. This time I'm going to be smart. I'm going to use my paint bucket tool, fill that section. And now I'm going to go back to my lighter color, make sure I've got my pen tool. Again, some of you may, if you've been playing with this a little bit, you, you may already know, instead of clicking on the pen tool, I could just touch the letter P and it would already bring me to that. Just like, uh, so if I'm over here, let's say I want to go to the bucket tool, it says the letter B, and I click the letter B on my computer and you can see it automatically changed to that. So some of you might be figuring some of these things out. I did have a student, they were asking me about how to clone and I, I shared the little video about that, but I just want to point out, so when I hover over this, it tells me shape selection, it explains there, uh, you know, kind of how to use the tool, uh, how to copy, how to paste, how to you know move, and the content that you're creating. So uh, don't be afraid to kind of do some exploring on your own. Uh, so I notice I've got the paint bucket tool. I'm going to press the letter P, so I switch to pen, so that I can put the I on this guy. I'm going to do one more little section of animation, um, and then we're going to. I'm going to just show you a couple th more things before we kind of stop for the day. So I've got this guy here. I'm going to have him kind of come across. So let's see, I'm going to move the head. Oh, I'm using the wrong color, so I'm going to do Command Z. Make sure I've got the right color. So I'm going to have the head start to come across the tree. The body's going to stay back here. I'm going to press the letter B. So I've got my paint bucket tool. Going to fill in these sections. Uh, that looks pretty good. 
going to use my lighter color, press the letter P. So I switch back to the pen tool and I'm going to put an eye there. And now I think I'm going to add another eye over here. Yep, two eyes feels all right. And I just want to do a little more editing just while I'm looking at it. Give this guy's a little more shape back there. Uh, and we're going to, now let's check out what we've done. So you can see it in this little screen over here. But if you see here, it says open a preview and pop up. So I'm just going to click on that. This gives me just a slightly larger view of what this guy looks like. <clears throat> now I can tell just from watching this that I feel okay about the way he's kind of climbing out here, uh, but I am going to want him to uh, have some shading on the, the body, and I'm probably, right now it kind of looks like a zombie, so I'm going to do some things to hopefully fix those eyes. Um, but that preview tool is kind of nice to use. I want to show you one last time because I've had lots of uh, questions about this or people that have kind of forgotten what they need to do. So just gonna show you how to save. So I'm coming over here to the thing. This is an old fashioned disc. Some of you, most of you probably don't know what this is, but that's what that is. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna click save to my gallery. Uh, so I'm clicking that save to my gallery. You can see the, uh, every time I do that up here, there's like a little Pac-Man and that's, I think it's the computer just kind of working it out. If you do that, if you save it, Please double check up here so I can see my name is in this box. So I'm signed in to my Google account. Uh, if you don't see your name up here and you're, and you're saving that work, uh, then you might not be saving it. You might not be logged in. So just make sure your name's there when you save your work. And then uh, as, as you guys continue to do this work, I would like for you to start sending me what you've created so I can see that little preview. And the best way to do that is to export so you're going to export, and then I want you to upload your uh, GIF as a, a you know a public URL. So that's a web address that I can easily just click on and see it. So you click upload, which I'm doing right there really easily. Um, but that's where we're going to stop for today. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for this guy to finish building that GIF. Um, this is what I'd like. Bases. Uh, so once you've done that. Now I want you to create that new layer. Make sure you create you know, multiple slides for you to do your animation on and start animating your character into the environment that you've created. Uh, so hope you're doing well. Hope you uh, have a good weekend. You don't have to work on this over the weekend. We're going to continue working on this for several days next week, uh, but I'll talk to you soon. You can see, uh, just, there it is. So there's my link. I can copy that. Uh, and then I can send that in an email. So, all right, thanks for watching and uh, have a good weekend.